Hi everyone, in this video we'll introduce some key concepts in discrete probability. We'll go over some definitions, axioms, and cover the case of equally likely outcomes. So first some definitions. A sample space is a set omega of all possible outcomes of an experiment. For example, if you flip a coin once, the sample space would be heads or tails. If you flip a coin twice, you could get heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, or tails, tails. Those are all the possible outcomes. Or if you roll a dice, all the possible outcomes would be 1 to 6. An event is any subset of the sample space. For example, getting at least one head in two coin flips, so this event includes these three outcomes. Or rolling an even number on a die, so this event includes the outcomes 2, 4, 6. Events E and F are considered mutually exclusive if their intersection is empty, so that means that they cannot both happen at the same time. For example, if E is the event that I roll 2, 4, 6, and F is 1 or 3, then the intersection is empty, so they are mutually exclusive because no outcome is in both of these events. Okay, so let's go through an example. Suppose that I roll two four-sided dice. What's the sample space, or the set of possible outcomes? Well, there are four outcomes for the first die, and there are four outcomes for the second die. So if you consider all possible combinations of outcomes, you can see that there are actually 16 total outcomes. Okay, so let's let D1 be the value of the blue die, and D2 is the value of the red die. So what outcomes would match these events? So event A, event A is that the D1 is 1, so that means that the dice 1 is 1, so that corresponds to anything in this row here. What about event B, that the sum of the two die is 6? Well, you can see that 4 plus 2 is 6, 3 plus 3 is 6, or 2 plus 4 is 6. So those three outcomes correspond to event B. What about event C, where D1 is twice the value of D2? Well, you can see that 2 is twice the value of 1, and 4 is twice the value of 2, so those two outcomes belong to event C. Okay, so now, are A and B mutually exclusive? Well, there's no overlap. They both cannot happen at the same time, so they are mutually exclusive. What about B and C? Well, it turns out that if you get 4, 2, then both B and C occur at the same time, so it's possible for them to both happen. Therefore, they are not mutually exclusive, because there is overlap between these events. So now let's cover the axioms of probability. So if omega is a sample space again, and then E and F are events. So the first axiom is just that the probability of any event has to be at least zero, so no event can have negative probability. The second axiom, normalization, says that the probability of the entire sample space should be 1. In other words, something has to happen with 100% probability. The third axiom is countable additivity, so that means if E and F are mutually exclusive, so there's no overlap, then the probability of E union F is probability of E plus probability of F, which makes sense because they do not overlap at all. And a corollary of this is that the probability of E complement, which is the probability that E does not happen, is just 1 minus the probability of E happening. A second corollary is monotonicity. That says that if E is a subset of F, then the probability of E is less than or equal to probability of F, which makes sense because E is completely contained inside F. The third corollary is inclusion-exclusion, so the probability of E or F is probability of E plus probability of F minus the probability of their intersection. And that makes sense because you have to subtract off the intersection because it was counted twice. So for example, the probability of ice cream or donut here is the probability of ice cream, so that's this circle, plus the probability of donut, which is this circle, but you have to subtract off the intersection because that was accidentally counted twice. So thinking back to this example, supposing that each die is fair, then intuitively, what's the probability that the two dies sum to 6? So uh, there's three outcomes that map to that event. So you'd expect that if there are 3 out of 16 total outcomes, and each outcome is equally likely, then the probability should just be 3 out of 16, which is correct. In general, if omega is such that outcomes are equally likely, then for any event e, the probability of e is the size of e divided by the size of the sample space. Thank you.